Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning into the channel. It's your boy CGOD back in the place to be. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks on installing your 21 inch wheel, right? And this is a 120 70 Shinko tire. So, we're going to be showing you how to fit this onto your touring motorcycle by Harley Davidson and uh, we're going to be doing it with no fender riser right so I mean you could go ahead and just put a fender riser on here you know and that'll lift you up and allow clearance but we're not going to do that because we plan to lower this motorcycle so you raise this up an inch you take away an inch of clearance here as well as on your crash bar right so obviously first comes first I'm gonna go ahead and get the bike jacked up right we'll get it jacked up I'm gonna loosen up our pinch bolts I'm gonna remove our brake calipers and I'm gonna start loosening up our, our axle nuts you know that way we could pull the axle out I'll get it jacked up and then uh, we'll start pulling the wheel off and we'll go from there yes sir okay so as you can see no more front wheel on the vehicle all right so basically guys order of operations like i said uh went ahead and first off we removed the nut cover so you can see the allen wrench there remove that we were able to gain access to our axle nut um so some of the tools you're going to need we got a half inch socket on a quarter inch ratchet to loosen up our pinch bolts down here on the bottom of the fork right and then I believe it's like a 24 millimeter or maybe like 15 16 socket whatever you want to use but that is for the axle nut um, I used the 10 millimeter 10 point for the disc brake uh, calipers and uh, from there, after loosening that, we went ahead, loosened up the axle nut, went ahead and pulled it out. Some other things you're going to need for this job, uh, T40 Torx. So that is going to be for your bolts here, unless you got new ones, which, I mean, I did not, you know. Don't sue me, but also, if you care about safety, don't necessarily follow my practices. But I also got new rotors. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. We're going to go ahead and get this situated. But uh, first, I would like to touch on a few things. So we've got half inch bolts, or the socket size is half inch inside of here. Kind of hard to see, but we're going to go ahead and remove these. What the heck? Damn. And then I got some crazy wiring that I may end up having to splice into for our light up here in the front. Now, I don't even know if that bad boy works, but a couple of things, guys. Um, inside of here, we're definitely going to have to do some shaving to the fender, right, to these items, um, as well as some drilling on the bolts right here. So basically, uh, the bolts that hold the fender rail and the fender are going to get drilled out, wallowed out, you know what I mean? And this one, the fender rail actually only has one it doesn't even go all the way across on the Ultra Classic 2008, of which I have. So um, that's, you know, one less hole we've got to drill. But that's why we've got our drill here with the 3 8 bit and our grinder with a Tiger disc, sanding disc, whatever you'd like to use. Um, but that's what I plan to use. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start saucing this up and see what's needed to fit this 21 inch bad boy all right all right so i lied again uh i actually did get new bolts so these are some stainless allen heads little button head you know y'all know what i'm talking about either way make sure you guys are using 
a little bit of this blue Loctite 242, baby. It's basically like medium strength, so it'll come off again if you ever needed it to. Um, but it'll definitely help for it to not rattle loose on its own. So, I mean, as you can see, we retained the stock ones over here. If anyone would like to purchase this or the back wheel, um, you know what I mean? Feel free to hit me up. The new ones are from DNA. I ordered them through Mototech. It's a 21 by 3.5 front and a 16 by 3.5 on the rear. So basically, let me show you guys. So it's got these little bastard of uh, little lockers. So basically, like you got to flare out the ends because it like locks the heads of the bolts in. So I'm going to use Loctite on this whenever I reinstall it and not use these little locker johnnies. But to be able to get the tabs off, I use this flathead screwdriver that's kind of sharpened, you know. Everyone got to have something like that. So we got our fender off. And like as I said, our rail only has one hole. So I mean, you know, we're just going to enlarge this one hole. But these other two are going to get enlarged quite a bit. You know what I mean? And then, uh, yeah, we're going to enlarge this one, this one, this one, and this one. On the inside here, I'm going to shave all these bolts down. You know what I mean? And possibly even, like, fully eliminate the bottom one here. It was just, like, legitimately be 100% gone. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be doing that with the grinder. So, I mean, you could see down here, it's got some little holes drilled in the bottom of it. You know what I mean? For, like, water or whatever to come out. And there is, you know, like a tad bit of like slight rust starting to form, a little bit of corrosion or whatever. So all this is adjustable. I'm going to loosen up this top nut, right? This top one and we'll be able to move it, you know, and kind of get it like as much away as possible. Um, hopefully I don't have to completely remove this middle one. But I mean, worst comes to worst, I could even like tack weld that little uh, front bar into the plate. But hopefully we don't have to do that. Just a little bit of shaving is all we need and we'll be good. But I'm going to go ahead, like I said, drill out these holes. We're going to start by drilling them out to 3 8 of an inch. And uh, obviously shaving all of this stuff down. And then we're going to do some test fitting, all right? All right, guys. So hopefully a majority of the fender work is completed. Uh, so basically, as you could see, we drilled out our fender holes try to get the camera to focus for you yeah so you could see you know what I'm saying fender holes nice and drilled as well as our uh, little bracket here you know what I mean so basically um, this fender rail was different than the one on my previous Road King because the Road King had the little V in the front, you know, and for some reason this one did not. It just had a little bracket that came down. So this is basically just going to be a floating bar on the bottom. And as you can see, we have shaved the holy piss out of it, you know what I mean, to allow for tire clearance. And uh, also we shaved both the studs down here. We may have to even shave the bolts, I'm not a, or the, the nuts, I mean, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Um, we're going to test fit it for the for the first time, you know what I mean? This is kind of just like, I've been mocking it up on the wheel, you know what I mean? Like just putting the fender and stuff on the wheel, you know? But who knows how we're actually going to clear once it's all said and done, you know what I mean? But for the most part, we've got the holes drilled the heck out, you know what I mean? Uh, and I will say this is definitely larger than 3 8 you know? So be prepared for that my camera would focus but yeah so like I said you know what I mean we got all the holes just bored the heck out and what I'm gonna do is these little plates right the little connector plates that go from each one I'm basically gonna use them as a washer uh, I went ahead and flattened out the edges that way it doesn't get in the way anymore but I'm gonna go ahead and mock up the fender again and uh, from there I may or may not tighten it down. I'm probably going to mock it up just one last time. You know what I mean? Damn, camera's not wanting to focus. This low light. But I'm going to mock the wheel and tire up in here. You know? Because, you know, you never know. I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, things have been done. So, we're going to go ahead and mock everything up first. 
see if it all works you know what I mean and then if we have to make any adjustments then you know it, it w shouldn't be too bad but I'm gonna go ahead and you know kind of mock it up and I'll bring y'all back all right so here we got it on the first test fit so basically this is what I'm showing you guys you see that fender rail buddies it's like right on that bad boy huh tell me it's not you know what I mean but look check me out you see that gap right there where the tire goes you know what I mean you might even be able to see it from the top side but it's basically just like cut out right there you know what I mean but you could see it's very close we have the uh, the little hairs of the tire touching it you know what I mean so look let me demonstrate to you guys uh, why you have to drill the fender out so look, I'm gonna have it rolling, right? If I knock the fender back, it's rubbing. And then right there, it's not. See, look, look. Like that's literally all the movement we're getting, but it'll stop the tire. You know what I mean? Let me demonstrate one more time. So look. You see what I mean? The other noise you're hearing, I wanna say is just the little hairs hitting right here. Uh, but if you look up in here, the uh, little screws or those bolts holding on the rail and bolting it onto the fender are clearing. Those clear actually pretty well. They got at least an eighth of an inch. I don't necessarily think I'll have to shave those anymore because that's as low as this fender will possibly go. I will have to hit up this little fender rail just a little bit could even possibly like pick up on it you know what I mean but yeah it's just a little bit too close for comfort right here you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and shave this again I'll probably wallow the holes uh, just a little tiny bit more you know what I mean before I do the final assembly before we put the Loctite on these bolts and then uh, like I said you know what I mean you can move the fender and you're gonna want it with the back up as much as possible you know what I mean that's the only way we're gonna clear this bad boy so yeah I'm just checking cuz look guys uh, let me grab a flashlight in a hopes that you guys can see what I'm talking about a little bit better So down in here, damn. You see my clearance that I have there, which is like very minimal, you know? And then this other one also, which is kind of hard to see clearance wise, you know? But that one you could see how much clearance it's got, you know what I mean? So, I mean, like I said, it is clearing, uh, kind of questionably clearing, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. Same here. You know what I mean? Like it's clearing just a little bit. So we're going to shave some more on the rail. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? tell me though like it doesn't look like it's been shaved right like you can't visually tell at all so I mean it's gonna look clear I think um, I did cut the bracket you know what I mean so from the front view it's just you know open but yeah I mean it is what it is you know what I mean and I lifted the rail all the way up so that's also why it's like super close in the front you know but it's because I wanted to have the nice straight line right here you see how it's like nice and level with the fender line you know what I mean but I got OCD you know what I mean I wanted to look hella firme and I think it does you know what I mean we're almost there boys no fender riser needed you know what I mean just drill some holes uh, cut grind you know what I mean but we should have it knocked out here whenever I bring you guys back all right there it is so I got the uh, axle nut tightened up already I got our pinch bolts tightened up 
loctite the fender, got the little washers on it, you know what I mean? So basically, you know what I mean, here's our clearances. I mean, as you can hear, it's just hitting the little hairs, you know what I mean? But there's no resistance whatsoever. Um, probably like after the first ride or so, once the middle section of this gets worn down, you know, these little hairs and stuff should be golden. You know what I mean? So that's basically it, boys. That's how you install the 21 on a touring bike. Um, pretty killer stuff. It should be okay. I've done this exact thing before on my old Road King, which was, you know, the last touring bike I had. Soft tail does not require that. It doesn't require anything. It'll bolt right up. So nothing to worry about there. It's just on the touring bikes where you got to worry about it. So here we have it, 40 spoke front rear, basically complete. I'm gonna have to take it all apart anyways whenever I do the suspension and all the front end work. But you know what I mean? That's where it is for now, eh? I'm gonna try and set the bike down, but my jack is being difficult. I don't wanna slam the bike down. Ah, oh. oh, there we go, okay. Damn, that shit's tall as hell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, either way. <laughs> There's that. Go ahead and... Set the booty down. It's because I had to raise it up, you know, because of the front. But, yeah, so there you have it should run and ride real nice now you know looking like a somewhat of a vehicle now but let me go ahead and finish up the brakes and whatnot and maybe even take it for a little test rip and i'll bring y'all back all right there you have it took her on her maiden voyage she did pretty great if i have to say so myself probably gonna wear the brake pads onto the calipers or onto the rotors a little bit more, you know what I mean? But otherwise, clearance wise, we still got all of our little hairs. Uh, I'm gonna take it to work, you know, highway speeds, like 80 miles an hour, if not more, you know, for a little while. See if we can get that little wear line in the middle to come down a little bit, you know, but she, there it is, boys. Don't run the fender riser, you know what I mean? If you don't wanna deal with the rail, you could just take it off, you know what I mean? But this thing is, the ultra classic you know what i mean so we got the rail in the front and in the back you know what i mean but that's going to be it for this one boys hopefully you guys enjoyed this one stay tuned make sure to watch the other videos if you're interested in any of the other mods like comment subscribe got more coming on the ultra classic baby i'll catch y'all in the next one